Good evening, everyone. All right, Tom. Music by Joliet 4. Uh, available on Spotify. Uh, DMCA Free. She is a singer songwriter from Kansas City. And she is fantastic. If you ever get a chance to watch one of her streams where she's basically just playing music, uh, doing new songs and such, and then singing all of her songs, and she's just incredible to watch. Also, a hell of a lot of fun. Her shows her, she calls them a hot mess, and she's not wrong, and it's part of the fun. Uh, Captain Mymore, Mephi Mr. Mephisto, good to see you. Uh, I am your friendly neighborhood Phantom NJ, uh, and welcome to the TTRPG Theater, where tonight we are going to be discussing life, the universe, and virtual Greyhawk Con. Prometheus, good to see you, sir. Thank you for dropping in. Um, so yeah, this has been this has been a week. This week has been um, something else. <laughs> Pat, <laughs> uh, good to see you, sir, as well. Uh, so yeah, coming up, uh, starting tomorrow, we've got a hell of a weekend. Um, it is the weekend of virtual Greyhawk Con, and just to give you an idea of the, uh, insanity that is my current schedule, I decided that I, this year, I'm just going to run one game, you know, and it, it seemed like a great idea, um, cause I wanted to play in some other games that I haven't gotten to in past years. Another long weekend with nothing to do. I am so sorry, Pat. Um, you know, we should have signed up and played some games. Thank you for the follow, Dirty Dwarf 77. Much appreciated. And welcome to the channel. Um, so yeah, I it's it's one of my favorite things. This is Virtual Greyhawk Con. This is number four. I mean, it seems like only yesterday that we were uh, scrambling to get things set up and figure out the right stuff for the first one. Uh, I, I'm more just on the participating side, though I do occasionally try to help out where I can. Um, but we've, we've got a pretty good crew handling admin stuff and helping people where to go. But you know, whenever I can, I, I do try to help out. Um, so yeah, I decided that this year I was just going to run one game. And I, I've been... Lucky enough to the last couple of years now to be part of the highlighted streams, and we will get to my stream in, in a few minutes. But I, I mentioned that because I wanted to be able to spend more time playing, and I, I think I might have overdone it, possibly. We'll, we'll see in a bit. Um, anyway, so what you can see over here is you can see my current schedule. And um, my schedule is basically full through the weekend. There's actually an event or two that, or there's actually an event here that is not showing up on schedule. Uh, my, 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 first of all, well, let's put it this way. Um, little, little life things. Keith, Roger, thank you so much for the subscription. Uh, it is really appreciated. 21 months in a row. That is fantastic, sir. Thank you so much. Uh, <laughs> I mentioned Life, the Universe, and Virtual Greyhawk Con. So to avoid getting ahead of myself, this week I had two things happen si almost simultaneously. Um, in in the trying to get everything set up for the con and um, all the fantastic game runners who have put a lot of work into their stuff and you know want to work with you with their characters and the story and making sure that you're set up for their games. Uh, I had the well for my house die on me this week. Uh, the, the, I'm not sure what died first, whether it was the motor uh, for the well or the well tank or the comedy. One might have killed the other from what they tell me. So I had them both replaced. Uh, I went to several days without water. The same time that happened the fiber connection in town got cut. So I had no water and no internet. 
I'm looking forward to the con to Dirty Dwarf. It's, it's one of my favorite uh, favorite things to happen during the year because I get to basically overdose on D&D of various sorts through the weekend. Um, so, yeah, so in the middle of trying to, like, get everything done for the con and trying to answer all the questions that the various DMs for the games that I'm playing in had for me, I'm trying to basically make sure that my house has water. Uh, that got taken care of today. I, you know, uh, the... You know the cost of it is what it is. Uh, thankfully, I, I'm I'm in a position where I can handle it, and it's not, you know, it, it sucks, but I, I it it's done, and I know more about my well system now than I did in the previous ten years that I've lived here. Uh, you know, I grew up a kid living on the you know in Bergen County where uh, everyone had sewers and well, the water was from the town, and we didn't have to worry about such things. And there are things that no one tells you. Uh, unless you specifically ask, and I didn't have anyone ask, so a uh, little foresight, you know, would, probably would have helped, but uh, it's something that probably would have needed to be done anyway. I, I don't know that there was anything that was going to hold this off. Um, may have just lasted another couple of years. Well, funny that you should mention playing CNC on Sunday. Uh, so anyway, so tonight, bef uh, before we even get to Virtual Greyhawk on. I have another game tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern. I will be playing on Rainbows and Razor Blades. And I will put a link in because I am terrible at, you know, I really need to, never mind it for, for Sunday, I need, really need to up my list of shortcuts and things that my bot is doing for me because I'm kind of short on the... Uh, uh, on the mod side here. Uh, well, let's put it this way. My, my well, the house was built. We, we think the house was built around 1962, 63. I don't know for certain when the, 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 what the motor for the well may have been here since the beginning. I don't know how long, I don't think the tank had been here that long. Uh, but, it, it it's 1962 bat 1962 or 1963 something like that it, it, it i was i'm really honestly probably the second owner of the house uh the original of the owners of the house both passed away and uh the the daughter was selling the house on behalf of the estate so um there's that and really there wasn't really many people to ask questions about it Thankfully, actually, that was the one thing. Thankfully, you didn't have to drill a new well. It was just a matter of replacing the equipment. They they went down. Uh, they they brought up the the motor and had the you know did all new cabling and such. Uh, and then today they replaced the tank for it. And now I have a better understanding of what I need to do to keep this in good working order. So yeah, tonight at nine p.m. Eastern on Rainbows and Razor Blades, I am playing in. Uh, a game of Dragon Bands ongoing campaign where we're calling it technically the second season. It's we just didn't finish the adventure in the time plan, so we we took a break about a month. Uh, we were in a good place, and I think we're like two or three sessions into the second season where we're we're heading towards the end of the adventure. Uh, Dragon Bane is by Free League Publishing. They just had the Kickstarter uh, that you know, had finished up and all uh, the fulfillment went out. Um, uh, it's kind of D and D adjacent. Um, it, it's got, you know, some familiar stuff, but a different way of leveling combat is really interesting because it's, it's really easy to die. Um, so yeah, you want to try to avoid combat wherever possible because things will kill you and you can kill stuff that it's combat is very short and sweet. Let me put it to you that way. Uh, but we're really, really enjoying the game. There, there are some different heritages that, uh, like, are, are we, we found out that there are mallards. Yes, we, we, are, we saw that there were ducks, and we decided that we were all going to be ducks. So it's an oops all ducks game. It does have classes. Uh, the game does have classes. Uh, actually, you know, I, one of these days I probably should do a full-on review since I've been playing the game long enough and I, I understand it better. Um, what it doesn't really have is levels. 
uh, the you you, know, you don't so much level up like you would do in a normal game, uh, but your skills expand. You can get better. You can get additional heroic abilities after a while. Uh, so the, so there are a way. Now the really interesting thing is your hit points never really change. Uh, there is literally one. Uh, you know, one ability, heroic ability that you can get every so often that will increase your total hit point pool by, I think it's two. And you can repeatedly do it, but if you can repeatedly do it, you're going to do it at the cost of, you know, getting other heroic abilities, which you know, may or may not be the way to go. So, uh, yeah, it, it's a game that can be fraught with danger from beginning to end, but we're having a hell of a lot of fun with it. Uh, the group I have is... Group I'm in is very we're very zany. Um, we we are all of our characters are kind of broken in the you know most fun of ways. Justinius, good to see you, sir. Thank you for dropping in. So yeah, anyway, that is going to be from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. Uh, Eastern tonight, and I will put in the thing one more time. Uh, then. Then, tomorrow, Virtual Greyhawk Con. As mentioned before, this is the fourth iteration of it. Uh, this is the first time I'll only be running one game. It, it will be a highlighted stream. Uh, but before the highlighted stream, I've got a bunch of other things that I'm doing. And you can get a look at my ca uh, you know my calendar here and notice that you know, it starts off with 9 a.m. in the morning, uh, tomorrow morning. That session will be run by none other than Scott Frey, Wiley Hobbit. And I will pop his information here. Uh, it is going to be a stream game, and uh, it, it will be a 5e game. And it's going to be a lot of fun. We... I. I I've played in Scott's games before, and I've, I've enjoyed them. Um, I had the opportunity to meet Scott at uh, GaryCon, and I think he's going to be there again this year, which would be really cool. Oh, I, I appreciate that, Pat. Um, so, yeah, that that's going to be a 5e game. I, I'm, I'm playing an Arcane Archer, which is something I, I think it's a fighter class uh, fighter subclass uh, for 5e I have not played one before so um, I'll be figuring it out as I go along I haven't played a heck of a lot of 5e lately I've kind of gotten away from 5e altogether but you know I'm happy to play it. I just have no desire to run the game anymore so that is tomorrow from 9 a.m I believe until 1 p.m or well 1250 is that where it initially came out? Uh, that, that would make sense. Um, yeah, they, they, they did port it over to 5e eventually. And um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be having some, some fun with that one. So after that, I get to play. And this is one of the things I was trying to do was play in sessions um, with uh, people that, you know, I hadn't played in vir I had virtual Greyhawk Con sessions before. I've, I've played... Some of these people I played in in other things, but um, I don't know. I honestly don't know when the last game I ran with Scott. I've been I've been on Scott's stream when somebody else was running a game for us. Um, I don't remember when I played on his stream in his game. I know it. it, it I know it was something. It might have been for one of the fundraisers or such. Um, after that. I am playing in a 1E adventure, um, Castle Greyhawk, Calls of the Iron Golems, uh, by Alan Groey, uh, otherwise known in the Greyhawk circles as the Grodog. Uh, this this is going to be a another fun one because I do love you know I, I started off with 1E. I you know, started off as a kid, uh, 1980 something, 1980 ish. And, you know, playing, uh, you know, playing 1E was where I started and where I did, you know, basically until 2E came out. Uh, I've, I've had my quibbles with the game. Um, you know, Unearthed Arcana still vexes me. But 
Uh, I, I'm looking forward to this. I have not had, I don't think I've ever had a chance to play in Allen's game before. Uh, so I am really looking forward to this. And one of these days I'm going to remember who's, because I know some of the names here, the attendees, but I don't remember specifically who they are. So yeah, that is, for those counting at home, game session number two. Um, for game session number three, because I am a nut, and when the chance to basically play D&D &D all weekend comes up, uh, I'm, I'm going to take advantage as much as possible. I do. Hey, I, I gave myself a break. I've got an hour in there. I'm, I've snuck in some time to actually chow down some food and such. So, hey, you know, I, I did something right. Uh, this is another person whose game I had um, less uh, otherwise known as Oblivion Seeker or Seeker of Oblivion in Twitch. I, I This one, I, it's going to be a lot of fun because I, I do get to play with uh, Gary Holian, uh, the Pluffet Smedger. Uh, also, Armin is playing in that game. Uh, Curtis, from who's a frequent of Lord Gazumba's channel, um, is also going to be in that game. So this is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, he, I'm actually in two of his uh, sessions. Uh, this one is 5e. Yeah, you know, it's funny, Dirty Dwarf, I, I, you, you mentioned being lucky to get in two games. They went fast this year. Um, I, I've, you know, it's been a running thing where I've normally been like scrambling to fill at least one of my games, uh, you know, the last few days, just trying to find somebody to fill in the last spots. I actually, in you know, I cut it down to one game this year and I had six spots in it and the six spots were filled like in the first week, for, you know, in the first eight days, I, I, it was shocking. I never, I had not seen that before. And you'll partially understand why that's shocking when you see the time slot for my, my game this year. Uh, so, you know. Well, you know, uh, let, let, let me put it this way. When, when next year comes, uh, you know, uh, all things being equal and this, you know, uh, just hit me up because the one thing that you know is that I'll be running CNC. So you just basically have to sit there if you want to play CNC. You might have to play at a very, very odd time, um, but you just really need to basically camp my games because uh, the one thing's certain is that, you know, Stephen Chenault will be running a CNC game and I'll be running a CNC game. And, you know, something, the other way to make sure that you uh, have a CNC game is to run one yourself. There, there you go. <laughs> never, never, never a bad idea. So I, I've got um, Secret of Oblivion's game. Uh, that is the first of two. Now, uh, less, uh, we, we've, you know, we had talked a lot when Virtual Greyhawk ha first came out. And um, he actually played in... One of my first two sessions, it might have been my first session, and I had been talking about the fact that one of them playing his game, and it, for whatever reason, just never happened. So this year, I, I had the chance, and I opted to play in two of his. Uh, the first one is in a 5e game. Uh, I've got my character. It's going to be interesting. It, uh, apparently, it's a modified 5e. You know, renting a B&B &B for some... <laughs> I, I, I see what you did there, Pat, right? Well, well played, sir. Well played. Uh, you know, playing in Five E, I, I kind of I, I didn't realize that he ran Five E games. I, I know it's modified. I think it's kind of like uh, I don't know if he's using the full on advanced Five E rule set or not. But whatever it is, I'm up for it. It's all going to be good. We're going to have a hell of a time. It's it's it looks like a great uh, great group of players, and that one is going to be a hell of a lot of fun. So now, going back to the schedule for a moment, you might notice there's a, a, a little spot, you know, Saturday morning seems to be empty. Well, that is because that game is a game that is pretty much by invite only because at 7 a.m., and mostly because I must be insane, 
I will be playing, where is it, Saturdays. In another session of the Reverse Dungeon by the Ever Mysterious Tim. This one will be at 7 a.m. on Lord Gazumba's channel. <coughs> uh, it started off that we were all goblins. And we were basically in charge of running a goblin tribe and all just trying to survive. You know, we were, we were, just, we were just goblins minding our own business and things happened to us. Well, at, at the end of the last adventure, uh, things went terribly wrong and everyone died except my character by the name of Three Skin. Uh, for <laughs> to a little, little spoiler alert, um, off camera, my character ended up dying anyway, just because it was it, it would have been really, really messy to advance the plot and have to do the things that were necessary to do. Uh, for the you know for the next iteration of the adventure with but my character was the last one living because well he saw that everything was going to hell and got the hell out of dodge uh apparently uh, it it still didn't save him um i am not giving away the big reveal as far as what happened to him or uh you know what happens when he comes back because all of the characters are coming back, and they've all been brought back as different things. I think some of them have come back from goblins as being bugbears. Um, I don't remember what everyone is, but Three Skin is something special, and it's going to be, you know, it is going to be a terrifically zany time with, with that crew. Uh, it always is. We've got William Henry Dvorak, who is absolutely hysterical, and just just trying role playing with him at 7 a.m. in the morning. Yeah, you know, if you need something to keep you awake, just, just role playing with him will do that because you're you're laughing and you're trying to keep up with him and he's just got go, 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 go with him. Um I think Antiquitous uh Alex is one of our players. Uh Ca Patrick, Canadian Ancient Gamer, is joining the cast, which is uh which is gonna be really, really cool. Uh I played with Patrick before. Though I think we've we've we played some some D and D together, but I think we've mostly played. Um, I, I think he's been in the BattleTech games. I'm trying to remember. So yeah, anyway, that is seven a.m. on Saturday morning until about eleven. Um, that will be on Lord Gazumba's channel. So that is game number four. Now. Going back to my schedule, we have game number five, which is the second adventure um, by Less uh, Seeker of Oblivion. And this one is uh, he's using the Ostrich rule set, which more is more or less 1E. E. Uh, Going to be another fun one. I, I think I'm. I think the funny thing is, I think I'm playing a cleric in both of his adventures. Actually, I think I might be playing a cleric in like half of the adventures that I'm in. Uh, but definitely, I'm, I'm pretty sure in both of in both of Les's adventures, I am playing cleric. So uh, it's going to be another good group. This is going to be even more different because we'll be going back to you know really really old school rules. And hey, I'm I'm very comfortable playing that rule set. So I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to this. Um, and I, I, I've heard really great things about his sessions and, you know, they can be a little hardcore. So cool. Let, let's go for it. Let's, let's see how long we can survive and so on and so forth. Uh, thankfully I, I do have a break between the 7 a.m. game and this one. I, I, I you know, so Saturday, I get to take a little little rest, a couple of hours of break uh, before the t between the two games, and that's going to be good because Saturday is an ultra long day. Um, Saturday afterwards, for the first time 
I am getting the chance to participate in the Grand Joust of Altamira. Uh, the Grand Joust, as always, is hosted by Lord Gazamba. Uh, I am going to be playing the Black Knight. Uh, this is a character that has been passed around. Uh, I think I am the fourth. I don't know if I'm the fourth or third different person to play it. I, I know Gary Holian had played it at one point. I think William Henry Dvorak had played it at one point. I'm not sure if either of them played it twice or if there was a, another person who also played it. But, um, yeah, I, I am I am super stoked to be part of that. It, it's, it's a really cool event. Uh, normally I'm, you know, normally I'm watching, um, actually some of the time I'm actually kind of passed out at this point, uh, that I, I'm going to be, uh, doing what I can to make sure that my energy level is up, but the grand joust of Altamira is, is such a fantastic event. Uh, you know, we're playing old school chain mail rules, uh, the rule set for it that they, they put out, I think it was in dragons, dragon magazine number 17. Which you know, it, think about how long ago that was. Uh, so I, I've got to look it over, give it, give give it a really good once over to figure out you know strategies for for playing uh, and doing so, and you know see how far I can get. Um, I'm I'm gonna have a great time regardless. I mean, everyone gets to have at least two jousts, uh, so you know we'll we'll, we'll see how that goes. And yeah, um, and that should have been the end of my Saturday. That should have been where, you know, my day ended and I relaxed and said, okay, um, I've got a stream the next day. It's early in the morning. But once again, I have no chill when it comes to a full on gaming weekend. So. I signed up because there was a spot available. Somebody had, uh, unfortunately, had to leave the game. So I signed up for the Blue Box game, playing Pathfinder 1. So I will be on Blue Box RPG from 10 p.m. until about well, 2 p.m. Uh, 2 a.m. Eastern. And that, you know, John always puts up a hell of a game. Um, it, we're, we're, I'm kind of waiting on my character, so I don't know what I'm playing in it yet. All I know is that I am playing in the game. Meth, Retro Game Meth, how good to see you, sir. Um, yeah, so that, if you're counting, that is game number seven of the weekend. And we're still only on Saturday night. Uh, did, did, did I mention that uh, it, uh, it was a great, you know, gaming weekend? Um, it, it, it's going to be fun. I, I, you know, I, I, I'm, I've played enough of his games to understand. And I'm actually kind of glad that I'm, he's using Path, Pathfinder One rule set um, because I, I have a better understanding of how he works with Pathfinder One. Uh, sometimes he does Five E and. Does some things a little wonky, but so Pathfinder One, I, I I understand how that works better. Um, so yeah, it's, it's going to be playing into the night, and then and then I'm going to sleep a bit. I've got um, I get to sleep for about four hours. Um, I might get to sleep a little more if he TPKs the party early. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens, but I, I get to sleep for about four hours. And on Sunday morning at 7 a.m., we finally come to my game. This game is going to kick off. Um, it's called When Comes the Witching Hour. Uh, with apologies to Carlos Lysing, um, <laughs> I, I actually had, let me put the full, uh, scroll that up a bit so that you can see the full title. Um, it's going to mark the start of my Embers of Empire campaign. Uh, now, this is a campaign that is not going to be just one party. There may not, there's not going to be a regular group 
going. Um, I am going to be putting out a call for players and finding out when they can play and as long as they're willing to do it on stream. All of my CNC games, one-shots or otherwise, will be part of this campaign from now until whenever I decide to call it. Um, I do have a World Anvil page that the campaign will be tracked on. And, um, you know, something, let me see, because I should have thought about that. World Anvil. Again. There we go. Everything is going to be tracked for the campaign in World Anvil. Um, I've done, I, this is, uh, you know, it's a work that's still in progress and honestly will forever be in progress because I need to add more stuff as the campaign progresses and as people, yeah, I have different gods that are being worshipped. I want to make sure that everything is covered. So, yeah, there there is that. Um, but this will be the first adventure in it. Um, I've already told the players that, you know, their characters that they're either making or that I'm creating for them. Um, that's their characters. They can have more than one character in the campaign. Uh, every character is going to start off with 6,001 experience points, which is just enough for a rogue to hit fourth level. Um, just about everyone else who's, uh, who's a solo cl single class is third level <coughs> we do have at least one dual class player who's currently at second level uh, because dual classing in cnc is xp prohibitive uh but yeah this is going this is an adventure that will kick off the campaign um it is going to be a highlighted stream <coughs> excuse me i'm gonna grab some water And it takes part in a place of the Greyhawk map that doesn't get a hell of a lot of use, at least not in uh, stream games. It'll be taking place in the Kingdom of Nyrond. So will, for those of you with the World of Greyhawk, you know it's on the eastern part of the uh, eastern part of the map. There is all kinds of political intrigue occurring. It is the common year 623. So a lot of the events in you know that published Greyhawk sources, um, they've all happened. Depending on you know where where your Greyhawk calendar starts, you know, it's a long time ago. It's some of it's fifty years old now. Um, yeah. So I, I I am looking forward to this. There there's a kingdom in disarray to the east. Uh, the the fallen empire of the Erdi, uh, otherwise known as the Great Kingdom, has has fallen. Uh, no one knows what's really going on in parts of it. There's the uh, the rumors of the undead Mad King Ivid the uh, Fifth. There's political strife in the Kingdom of Nyrond itself. There is the uh, former prelacy of Almor. Um, who may or may not be happy to be part of Nyrond. Uh, they, they kind of fell during the Greyhawk Wars and got sucked up by Nyrond. Um, there's the question of political leadership, but at the start, there's just going to be an adventure. And uh, the characters in this, I had mentioned the Carlos Lysing uh, adventure of the same name, which I accidentally named this after because... Uh, of all things, Wiley Hobbit ran the uh, Carlos Slicing Adventure at GaryCon. I was initially supposed to play it, so when I was coming up with a name for the adventure, it was kind of playing in the back of my mind, and I ended up naming it the same thing. Um, after speaking to Carlos, I was like, I apologize about the name Fubar, uh, or name Snafu, and one thing I am doing is using some of the stuff that he's written up for... Uh, just Nyrond and Greyhawk in general, and in implementing it in the game. 
Uh, the adventuring party or adventuring guild that the players are going to belong to or their characters are going to belong to is a Carlos slicing, um, you know, is something that Carlos came up with. So I am, I'm, I'm really stoked to start the adventure with this group. Uh, they will be investigating the rumors of a witch uh, driving, well, basically driving the local folk of a fishing village mad. Uh, and there are surprises to be had and possibly uh, further details uh, to be learned as far as other situations occurring uh, that will you know, lead to adventures at later times. So I hope you'll tune in. It is at 7 a.m. Um, that will be on my channel. That will be right here. Shouldn't need to do this considering it's my own, but, you know, what the hell. Uh, that's at 7 a.m. So that's going to go from 7 to 1. And then, that. so for those of you counting, that is session number 8 over the three days. Um, I have a couple hour break. And that will lead to my last session of the con. And that will be Frostfang's Fury, run by uh, Dave from Guild Superior. This should be a, another really, really fun adventure. I am, I am definitely playing. It's a 5e adventure. Um, I will be playing a, a Dwarven Forge Domain Cleric. Um, so I, I've got some, I've got some stuff ready for him. I've, I'm very familiar with the Forge Domain clerics, so I can't, I can't wait to uh, play this character. Uh, Dave is, Dave's another fantastic uh, uh, DM. I had the pleasure of, well, I've had the pleasure of hanging out with him at Garricon two years in a row, and this past, you know, this past Garricon, uh, he ran a game for. You know, basically people in the community, uh, like an after hours game, we just grabbed a table in the hallway and we were playing, I think we played for six hours, a modified Curse of Strahd adventure. <laughs> we, we finally had to basically roll to figure out who survived and who died because uh, I think it was like one or two in the morning when we finally called it quits. It was, it was a hell of an adventure. It was a hell of a night. A lot of fun people, and I'm super stoked to be playing in his game again. And yeah, that that is my Gary Con weekend. Like I said, I, I start off playing tonight in a non not Gary Con virtual Greyhawk Con weekend. Um, let me put Dave's thing in here. Uh, that is, that is my virtual Greyhawk Con weekend. It starts tonight with a non VGHC game. That's Dragon Bane on Rainbow's Ridge Blades. Um, but it, the three days I've got nine sessions for the three days, one of which I'm running the other eight I'm playing in. And then I've also got tonight's uh, Dragon Bane game. Uh, it's, you know, it, it's a gamer, it's a gamer's dream. It's, it's really, you know, you, you get these chances and you get to play with really, really cool people uh, in a setting that you've, you know, I've been playing in since, well, since I got the gold box, I think like, I got the gold box in 1982. Uh, I've, I've technically been playing in a little earlier than that. I, I didn't really have anything for it, but other than modules and the road, old rogues gallery where I had all the different, um, uh, you know, named characters and uh, and such, but yeah, it, it's you know this is this is going to be a hell of a lot of fun. I can't wait for the weekend to get started. Um, and I think I'm getting messaged by one of them. Ah, yes, yeah, so I'm getting messaged by one of my uh, DMs to let me know that I still need to choose my magic items. <laughs> oh boy, there's been so much work. I just trying to uh, get myself set up for the game, get set up for this. Um, so I really hope that everyone here is uh, able to participate in some way. If you're playing in a game, have have all the fun, do all the things. 
uh, enjoy the sessions that you're playing in. Um, if you're, you know, if you weren't able to get into a game or just don't have the time, I hope you're able to tune in to the various streams that are going. Um, there will be schedules posted in various uh, discords, probably by Jay, uh, Lord Gazumba himself, uh, showing where the highlighted streams are. Um, you know, and, and mine is highlighted for 7 a.m. Uh, you know, we, so we will be raiding into other highlighted streams. I, I think he was trying to fill the spot right after mine. I'm not sure if he was able to do that. There was, uh, un unfortunately one of the DMS had to back out, but yeah, take, take advantage. There's so much good gaming going on this weekend. Uh, you know, you know, cheer the players on. Uh, if the if they've got systems for helping the players or helping the DM, you know, take advantage of that. I will be actually I will be uh, having the you know system for helping the players and and uh, such on my own game this weekend. So it'll be you know one of the first times that I've made it available, and I'm I'm looking forward to that and seeing how that works. Um, but yeah, it's it's going to be a fun fun time. And then on Monday, thankfully, I have the day off on Monday, so I can just, you know, collapse and sleep. And because <laughs> by that time, uh, Lord knows I will have earned it. Uh, so, yeah, that that's kind of what I had for this evening. Um, I do have a little break between now and... Uh, when I need to be on for my game. Uh, so what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to take a look and see who we have I can read into. I don't even know who's on at this point. I know Jay is not running tonight. Um, huh. Do I even know any of these people? I am not sure that I do. Um, no, you know something? This is one of the things where you find out that you have. All right. You know something? What the hell? Let's do that. Oh, raid. Be a new raid for me. Um, thank you, everyone, for stopping in. Thank you. Uh, thank you for the follows, the chat, uh, hanging out with me, uh, the subscriptions. It is all extremely appreciated. Uh, those of you who are just lurking know that I appreciate you as well. Um, you know, it, your presence here is well, the reason that I do this. And I hope to see you over the course of this weekend. Uh, and again, tonight in a little over an hour on Rainbows and Razorblades, um, playing some Dragon Bane. Have a great night, everyone.